Career and technical education, or CTE, may be the most popular notion in school reform today. But for CTE to be more than another fad, schools need to make some difficult choices about exactly how it will work. My friend and former state superintendent, Tony Bennett, recently flagged three key questions about CTE that need to be resolved. One, will we accept that expanding CTE may eliminate some traditional teaching positions? Many CTE students spend part of the school day learning workforce skills, which means schools may not need as many teachers. Two, will we accept that traditional teacher preparation is inadequate for CTE instructors? Schools of education don't prepare graduates to teach skill-based occupations such as welding or firefighting. Three, will we accept CTE's reliance on high-stakes testing? Many CTE students must pass a national, state, or industry-based assessment to be certified in their chosen field. For CTE to deliver on its promise, schools have to confront some tough decisions. What do you think of career and technical education? Let us know in your comments. Also, let us know what other topics you'd like our scholars to cover in 60 seconds, and be sure to like and subscribe for more research and videos from AEI.